this foundation is so flawless look at it like bitch i don't need i don't need nothing else <laughs> and then you gotta like smile a little bit like this okay so the cringy part is coming up hey guys it's paloma here welcome back to my channel back at it again with another video and today i'm going to be doing my updated makeup routine um i have a video like this already and yeah like this is an updated one because your girl learned some new makeup skills or whatever so yeah um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe on this video give it a thumbs up right before you start because you already know this video is gonna be good <laughs> But yeah guys, um, I'm going to put all the makeup descriptions below and this is like an affordable, this is an affordable makeup routine because everything is affordable, you can buy everything here, so yeah. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started. If you want this beautiful mattifying makeup look, keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to start my makeup and yeah, I have my little mirror right here so if I'm looking down, whatever. And um, I did my eyebrows off camera. My eyebrows, look, look at my eyebrows. My eyebrows were so horrible about like two months ago. And they're still kind of horrible because they're growing out. But as you guys know, I moved to Atlanta. And I went to go do my eyebrows out here. And it was fucking horrible. The lady literally messed up my eyebrows. I was so upset. Like I literally cried. But I've been letting them grow. And yeah, they're growing out a little bit. I, I just plucked them. I don't know if plucking is good or bad. But yeah. I'm like, I don't even want anybody to touch my eyebrows anymore. But yeah, let's get started. So this is the foundation I use. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I use color 322. So what I do is I pour a little bit on, on my hand because I don't have anywhere else to put it. So yeah, I pour a little bit on my hand. And then I go ahead and just dab some on my face. Like little circles. Okay, now that I dabbed it all over my face, as you can see, I take my beauty blender and then I go ahead and just blend it all in really good and i still have some on my hand that way if i need to like add more then i'll add more and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and blend now This foundation is so flawless look at it like bitch i don't need i don't need nothing else <laughs> now i'm gonna go ahead and use my instant age rewind eraser dark circles um concealer this, this concealer is actually really good and it's really affordable it's only like 7.99 i believe at walmart or target so yeah i still don't know how to really use it but we gonna figure it out <laughs> For the next thing I'm going to do, since I did do my eyebrows off camera, I didn't conceal them. So I am going to conceal them. And I'm going to use this thing, but I have a little brush right here. And I'm just going to squeeze it on here so some of the concealer can go on there. Because this concealer is kind of weird. And then I'm just going to just conceal my eyebrows. <music> So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Cover X um, translucent powder. I grab my same beauty blender, and then I'm just gonna put some under my eyes. But what I'm gonna do is instead of just like putting it under my under eyes and just like leaving it there, I'm gonna like dab it in. Okay. 
okay now that I dabbed it in and the reason why I do that is because I feel like it just stays on longer when you actually dab it in first and then put some more on top so then I'm gonna just put some more on top and then I'm gonna basically let it bake for a little bit Okay, and then what I'm going to do with the rest that's in here, I'm just going to take it and go all over my face and just dab it in my face. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave my eyes baking for a little bit, and then I'm going to take my Hula Bronzer. This thing, this stuff is amazing right here. Look at it. As you can see is almost gone but yeah I'm gonna take um this little brush is an elf um, point pointed powder brush and I've been using this lately just to bronze my face because I feel like a bigger brush is better because it goes everywhere I usually just like to bronze my face with a little bit of blush and call it a day so yeah <laughs> take this brush I don't know what type of brush this is but I'm just gonna wipe off the residue of this baking powder I use the Mac blush and um, I think I've been using this blush for a really long time but it's so cute it has like a kind of glow to it let me see if you can see it yeah it's super cute and then i go ahead and take this pink blush brush and it's from sephora it doesn't have a name because it's so old but yeah i just go ahead and take a little bit and then you gotta like smile a little bit like this and put it in your cheekbones Okay, so the next thing I do is I grab my Fit Me um, Matte Poreless. What is this? So this is a pressed powder and it is from Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless and it is in the color 330. That's what it looks like. And I basically use this to set my face. So I grab the same brush that I use to wipe off the, um, the setting powder and then I grab some of this and I just like put it all over my face and I feel like this just gives me that matte look that I'm looking for because I I'm not a fan of putting on like glow anymore or highlight if you say um yeah I kind of like a matte face I think it just looks cute okay so the cringy part is coming up as you can see look at the face it looks like super cute and natural um i'm gonna put these lashes on right here and these are very very affordable like if you guys have a beauty supply near you i recommend you guys to go buy them i'm gonna show you the box now so they're only 2.99 and they're 3d lashes i think they're mink i'm not sure but they're really cute they come in this box right here and this is um number 109 I'm gonna put my lashes on now so what I do is I grab the lash and then I use the dual stick glue Okay, so I did my lashes and as you can see that took forever like that's the hardest part for me and I literally like hate it because I just hate it whatever <laughs> it's so stressful because like you're trying to make it look so perfect and stuff and like yeah it's it gets freaking annoying but now I'm gonna use um, my covergirl mascara this mascara is a bomb <laughs> For 
for my lips i use this nyx um what color is this it's a lip liner um in urban cafe cafe urban whatever it's tiny because i use it all the time and i love it so um i have some a little bit of gloss on right now so i'm just gonna take it off And then I'm going to just line my lips. So I line my lips and then I have like so many lip glosses that I put on. But I'm going to put some clear gloss first. And this is just some regular clear gloss from the beauty supply. It's like $2. And then this is a Revlon um, gloss and it just has some glitter to it. Look at how cute it is. It has some glitter to it so I like to put it on last because it gives it like some shimmer. And that is my lip gloss. The last thing I do for my makeup is I take the makeup wipe. And then I do have um, a beauty mark right here. So I just take the makeup off there because I like it to show. And there it is. So yeah guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Also, let me know if you like this routine. And if you guys would try it. Or if you guys do try it, let me know how you like it. I really like that matte look. That's why my face looks like so mattifying. And I don't have glow. The only glowing thing on my face right now is my lips. So yeah. Um, so this is literally my everyday go-to makeup even when like I'm like in a rush or whatever I don't wear makeup every day So this is like my go-to makeup when I'm gonna wear makeup. You know what I mean? But yeah guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye